G'day students. I want to have a look at this next part of the assignment, which is likely to be viewpoints. Now, within these parts of assignments that we're looking at, the first part we looked at, which is the nature and scope, this around the viewpoints, it also will kind of naturally encompass other perspectives. So you're already you're going to be selecting, meeting the selecting criteria by the way you use sources and information to support your view. You're going to be meeting the comprehending criteria by the way you use legal concepts and ideas through these sections. So even though we're talking specifically about one lot of criteria here, in reality it's going to meet a lot of them. It's so all it's going to leave is, and of course within this you're communicating as well, it's so all it's going to lead is your legal alternatives, your decision, the way you justify your decision and the implications of that. So if you've done a good job on your nature and scope and your viewpoints, then you'll feel like you've got a big part of the assignment done. So let's have a look at what we, we need to interpret legal information to perceptively examine different viewpoints and their consequences. The consequences are the so what. We've asked in this case, one of the viewpoints has to be the public health issues around smoking and then the so what. The so what starts to be, well, maybe there needs to be laws to restrict vapes for example, and you want to be more specific and perhaps more legal than that, but that's the idea of the consequences. The second is you need to use evidence to support your analysis. So you're going to have to have sources and the sort of evidence I think you're going to be using a lot here and perhaps more than other legal assignments is things like statistics and data and expert opinions. Let's go through and have a look and I've just listed down a bunch of viewpoints. Well, certainly all, we've said that you have to have public health viewpoint. And most people, I suspect, will have two viewpoints, so they're going to choose one other one. It might include these. There are plenty of other legitimate viewpoints beyond this, but it might, con might, con might include the viewpoint of people who are concerned about the way vapes are marketed to young consumers, or the viewpoint of people who are concerned about the way vapes are marketed in general, the way vapes are bought and sold. Maybe you think particularly about people under the age of 18. Uh, the viewpoint of smokers, um, who might use vote, uh, vapes as an aid to quitting. Um, viewpoint of those people who are concerned about either the, the current laws or the policing, whether there's any policing of vapes related to the current law. Uh, is it more of a black market type situation? And remember that with the viewpoint, I've already mentioned this once, there needs to be the consequence of that viewpoint. Just, just a sentence that has the so what. You know, the important idea from this viewpoint is, or the next step from this viewpoint is that it leads to whatever sort of thought around action, perhaps. Now, we said at the start, the second part is that the, the viewpoints have to be supported by evidence. So what evidence can we use in this context? We could use expert opinions, whether it be medical and legal. I think a mix of the two would be really, really good. We could use case studies. And there were some really nice case studies, not nice, they, they were kind of sad and there were people who were clearly under some distress and pressure but there were those case studies were well presented in that four corners piece that is on sector for today and that we looked at both classes looks at some of it in class and data can be a good source of evidence and I think the evidence used in the four corner presentation the way they put together evidence to make an argument was a really good model that you can think about using. <clears throat> Let's think about some of these viewpoints just in slightly more depth. Um, vapes seem to have some specific marketing around the use of flavours and the packaging particularly that makes them um, targeted to young consumers. It's a very interesting thing about cigarettes. One of the things they changed around cigarettes some years ago, 20, 25 years ago, maybe a little less than that, was the packaging of cigarettes. They had to be this olive colour and they had a warning picture on it. Um, so, you know, there might be some links. You might think about some links between the way they've changed the marketing of cigarettes and vapes. You might think about the, the viewpoint of people who are concerned about the way vapes are marketed in general, the viewpoint or, about how available and, and how easily sold they can be for people. So there's three little ideas you can go into some more depth. So you won't go into all of them, you might just choose one extra viewpoint as well as the health situation. Other viewpoints there, under the age of 18, 
current laws and the policing, the way things are policed at the moment. That was an issue raised in the Four Corners um, documentary. And maybe the viewpoint of smokers who might use vapes as an aid to quit smoking. And there are some certainly some experts who advocate for that. And that could lead to some interesting legal alternatives. Which brings us to the last point just in this short presentation. And that's that as well as thinking about your viewpoints, your legal alternatives have to be linked to these viewpoints. They have to be relevant based on what you've done up to the time you start writing them. So keep that in mind. Keep thinking that, yeah, some viewpoints are important, but you can't then just have completely separate legal alternatives.